forms of distribution, or new ways to interact with entertainment, new forms of entertainment. Look at TikTok, you know, which I was at briefly a couple of years ago. That's a brand new form of full screen vertical. Right, the scaled video. up, scaled, scaled up, up like immediately. That yeah. was, the, the growth there was astonishing. So things are happening very fast. New forms of entertainment are being born. New consumer expectations are arising all the time. So the best thing to do, and this is kind of our, you know, when we collected all those assets at Disney, all those brands, Marvel, Star Wars, um, Pixar, to add into the Disney brand that we already had, that was done very purposefully and without very much um, guesswork as to what would happen in the future. We were trying to set ourselves up to be future-proof. No matter how the business evolved, if you had strong brands with great creative execution and stories that needed, needed to be told and, and heard, you're in good shape no matter what happens in the industry. Um, it could have evolved in a number of different ways, but we were kind of uh, setting ourselves, uh, ourselves up at Disney to be um, in a really well-positioned strategically no matter what happened. I think that's important because you, you cannot predict the changes that, that are going to occur. If you had talked to Mark Zuckerberg 10 years ago and said, hey, there's a new Chinese company called TikTok that's going to eat, eat your lunch. lunch. No way you would have believed that. Right. But yet it happened. And what's the next thing on the horizon? Be real, one of those things? We don't know. Um, so the really important thing is to have brands, have consumer connection, and tell great stories. And if you do those things well and you can therefore create value for audiences, you'll get paid some, in some fashion. And that's I feel very strongly about not trying to pinpoint predict the future because it's impossible. You can't do it.